black or a dark gray? Here? Yeah. This is a dark gray. Okay. I believe this is all covered in fatty acid and some Right. Ice. So that so would be. Is there orange under here? Like, I'm just wondering why this lifeline shows that I, up through the. I think the gray. I'm thinking there's orange underneath. And then he put black on top. Yeah. Okay. Given the vintage of this painting, he was still. Little details like that. It's not uncommon that he extended this originally and then ended this. Right. And then flipped it around. Right. In oh. terms of technique. And there's white in here too. I mean, he tried to break it up even more than this large mm. swath. Well, I'm sure when he painted it, it was, it was black. Yeah. Um, so if we, that's all fatty acid exudates. There's no way other than, you know. Can you get that mechanically or is it, are we going to have to use a heat treatment? Oh, uh, we'll try. I'll work right here. Okay. And see with just the sponge. A little bit. Yeah, I mean, it comes off a little bit. It's like pH 11 where I had to do several campaigns. Yeah, you sort of take off what you can and you want to take it off anyway, as you know, because it's, it will always come back. So if we're physically taking material off, we're functionally changing no, it into whatever yeah, you love at all. Yeah. So, so that's this, what it was to this with the, just the sponge, mechanical removal, which isn't horrible keeps the picture a little bit more in balance with the white because it's not as dark. Well, let's test this to see how dark it goes. Okay. That's more of what it's going to be. That darkening right there. With this picture, I mean, functionally, what we're really dealing with is we're dealing with fatty acid exudates in the gray. The ramifications, of course, is that we all, both of us understand how much darker that's going to get, and it's going to yeah. completely transform this picture to from what everybody, its cultural perception right now is. Yeah, we're for sure going to have to talk to Bailey and Joyce about how it's going to change. Yeah. Um, although if we put it in the conservation exhibition, we could have it be a teaching moment too. I, yeah, I think that would be great. And maybe even let's do it. We can do a little bit more testing and see if maybe not just treating the whole thing, but maybe we can do it in such a way to where we can have windows into this work in a way that, that might be cool. Insight. You can see before and after then. Yeah. I mean, I think this is part of our conversation yeah. is we need to talk to Bailey and Joyce and around what their comfort level is with right. this. But right. I think it's, I think there are three options. I think you pretty much, you don't do anything. Okay. You accept it as is, though that would not be my first choice. No, me either. Uh, or you go into basically, you can sort of deal with only the fatty acid exudate component of it because that's obvious. Right. Uh, I know Bailey loves that though. Yeah. And, but it, so color. it will transform the picture, but it's actually not a full transformation because you're not really understanding the picture because of the blotchiness. Right. Uh, and I think the blotchiness will then come forward visually right. as well right. is the negative ramification of that. Or you sort of do, you know, you sort of, you, you also do sort of the restorative component of it where we're going to do some of the, right. the toning or the scumbling of some of that yellowing, redu the reduction of the yellowing and then subsequent toning to recreate some of those forms. And so, right. to so sort it's of not muddy. Pull, pull it back together. Yeah. I mean, like, for example, like right in here, where you start getting this interaction, mm, you have yeah. this very distinct stroke up here of this contrast and this blue, and then you have this, and then it starts to get muddy. Right. So we lose this shape and subsequently dropping down. So we're losing his layering technique and his movement of, of the palette knife. But if we simply stumble through this and sort of Join with, it together. Yeah, with the mind of looking at brush strokes right. when you're doing that sort of and if you do if you do the minimum necessary to sort of tie it back together. That's the idea. That's the idea. And it again may, it might not be so Yeah, it, it's overall. it's not it's not it's not a restoration in the more traditional sense where you're recreating distinct shapes and forms. It's just pulling those areas back right. in right. by by scumbling the yellow. Scumbling over the yellow. Okay. But we'll have to have, it's going to be multiple conversations around that because, you know, to your point, 
there's a lot here. And then the big, you hit, once you hit the big stuff, the small stuff comes out and then we're mm -hmm. going to have to have a conversation mm -hmm. around visual balance again mm -hmm. in that point. 